There's a lot you can do with Google Apps Script. And now that you've become familiar with the editor, if you do need help, there are resources out there that can provide you script code snippets, as well as help and guidance in order to write Google Apps Script. One of the best resources is available at Stack Overflow. So going under the questions tag, Google Apps Script, there's a number of really good resources here. Also going over to the developers.google.com forward slash Apps Script. This is where you can find out more about Apps Script. They've got automations, different code snippets, custom functions that you can try out, as well as support, re different release notes of what's new with Apps Script. You can search the syntax to find out more about it from the developer's website. Going into the Try Quick Start is going to open up samples. And there's a few samples of some of the Apps Script code that you can use within your own projects to try out. Under the Guides tab, you can select for more information on the various guides that are available. Under Reference, it's going to be a listing of all of the Google Workspace services with the different services and the classes that are contained within those services, including the different methods. So you'd have to click down and select the class. And then from the class, you can select down the different methods that are available within the class. So there's a lot of information contained. There's a lot of functionality that is available within Apps Script. So this is an excellent place to start. The language translate is a really easy one to try out where you can go over to the services, get the snippet of code, bring it into your project, and you can run the code directly within your project. So just wrap it within a function and use the curly brackets to run the block of code. We can select a value. So if we want to run hello world using the language app, translate the value that we want to translate, the language that we want to translate it from, and then the resulting language that we want to translate it into. And this is going to get logged into the log. So let's run the function test three, and we see the translated results within the execution log for the value that we've passed in. There's also utility services. So these also allow you to extend your app script, providing more services that you can make use of. And there's also the scripting resources for the various triggers, the manifest, and the quotas and the limits for the various Google services that you might be using. Also within the editor, you can always select the support and open the documentation, the training, the updates, and even take a tour to find out more about what's available with Google Apps Script. And the tour, tour will trigger these pop-up windows, interact with the Google Apps Script editor. So as you're developing the code, I do suggest that you try the code as you get more familiar with writing Google Apps Script.